I have a wonderful verse that I want to share with you today. It literally can transform your thinking, your emotions, your thoughts. And so it has really been a verse that I love and have been able to apply this week and has really helped me out. So I want to share this verse with you today. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18 in the New International Version. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Let's talk about this. Give thanks in all circumstances. Well, what does that all really look like? So if I were to talk with you, I'd say, well, you know, when things are really going well, you get that car, you got that gift, uh, that birthday gift, you you eat your dinner and you're saying grace and you're thanking God for it and you're thanking relatives for the wedding gift and you're thanking God that you passed that test or got that job. And you know, when things are going really well and you feel like God has done something good for you, we need to be reminded, we need to give thanks. And you know, you might say, well, that's easy time to do that. Well, I don't want to take anything for granted that we know because we know in Scripture, in Luke 17, Jesus heals the ten lepers of their leprosy. And only one comes back to say thank you to Jesus. And he's like, where are the others? And so if one-tenth of people are practicing this idea of giving thanks, they are experiencing uh, something inside of an appreciation that affects their emotions, affects their thinking. And, um, but we have other times in our lives, not just the good times, but if we can get the good times right, it's going to help us during the more difficult times. Secondly, I would like to share with you, we need to thank him in all circumstances. What does that look like? It's even in the bad times. The difficult times. Now, sometimes I can look back years later about something that was very difficult that I went through. And I'm sure you can think of something. And in those times, I had a difficult time being thankful for it. But when I look back over time, sometimes it's years later, sometimes it's six months later, then I can look back and I can say, wow, God, thank you. I didn't realize how much I learned through those difficult times. And maybe you have felt the same way. And so I want you to go back in your mind and think of some of those things that God has done in your life that were difficult times that you're saying, God, I want to thank you. Not just because of what I've learned, but I know the most wonderful thing is, is that, God, you were there with me during those difficult times. So what does that look like for you? Now, what about now? You going through something with this pandemic? For me, it's been very difficult this past week learning that we no longer could have services inside. That means that I am not able to see you again. I'm having to speak to a wall and a camera, and I'm not able to see how you're doing. And so for me, that has been very, very difficult. Just to get the strength up again to say, okay, we're gonna do it this other way. Well, I'm having to trust God. And we talked about that a couple weeks ago. A way of worshiping God is we put our full trust in Him. A way of worshiping God we talked about last week is to praise Him and to say, God, I exalt you, I trust you, and I praise you for who you are and what you've done in my life. And yet, now we have difficult times that come our way. And you say, well, what would that look like? For some of you, it's your job. Your job is no longer there. That's unknown. You're in those circumstances right now. 
you're in those circumstances of financially wondering how you're going to do it because the job is no longer there for you. Or maybe, maybe you are one that has a loved one that is sick with the coronavirus. You are sick. You just got news or you were just in an accident. Some of these kinds of things are in our happening right now. And this verse reminds us, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So first of all, as I was reflecting this week, as I was meditating and knowing that I was going to have to say, God, I thank you for what I'm going through right now. This very day, this very week, my life in this particular season of my life, and each of us, it looks a little bit different. And in my quiet time, God began to press upon me and he says, do you trust me? Yeah, God, I trust you. I trust you with the church, with the people that I love, that I'm missing, that I can't see. Do you trust me? Yes, I trust you, God, and, and I'm trusting spiritual leaders as they are leading in these small groups, and I'm trusting you, Jesus, in what I cannot see and what I cannot control. I am trusting in the one I cannot see, and I'm going to praise you. And last week he challenged me, praise me in the midst of it. Praise me, exalt me. Okay, God, I'm, I'm praising you. And now this week, he says, you want to worship me and you want to show me that you are trusting me? Start giving me thanks now. Even in what you cannot see, even when you don't know what the outcome is, even when it doesn't make sense, even when it's difficult right now, even though you don't know what, what that season is going to bring for you or what new things you're going to learn from it or what the outcome is, I want you to thank me right today. And so even before I was going to give this lesson to you today, I had to go in my quiet time with God. And I began to say, God, I, I thank you for what we're going through. I thank you, Jesus, because I trust that you are with me in it. I thank you, O oh God, because I trust that you're going to make good. You're going to make something beautiful. You're going to teach me new things that I have not known before. And I'm not on the other side yet. I'm in the midst of it, giving thanks in all circumstances, even when we're in the very midst of it. And I just say, God, I trust you, and I praise you, and I exalt you, and I know, Jesus, now that I can thank you, thank you, that your best good is going to come upon your church. And I thank you for the new things that you're going to teach us and you're going to show us. I thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are in charge of my life. And in you, I trust. And in you, I give thanks. So I challenge you today. Think of something that you're having to trust God for. In those difficult times, in those seasons of your life, to give God thanks. We can praise him. We trust him. Now we give him thanks. I trust you, I praise you, and I give you thanks, Jesus, knowing that you're working in and through this situation when we cannot see. We trust you right now in the name of Jesus because you are in charge of my life, in charge of this situation. You are in charge of the church. Move us forward, Jesus. Have your way. Give us a thankful heart. I'm telling you, there is peace when we learn to give thanks in whatever situation we're in. Because you see, the children of Israel were headed to the promised land. And what was one thing that grieved God about that situation? They grumbled and complained. 
What's the opposite of giving thanks? Complaining. Looking at all the bad. Wishing it was different. Never enjoying the moment. And God is here to say, I want to show my people how to give thanks in all circumstances. I pray that you will memorize this verse, 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Give thanks in all circumstances. Why? For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. He knows what will make us happy. He knows what will bring us peace. Give thanks to him today. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks for our salvation, for our friendships, for our family, through the good and the circumstances of the bad, because we trust you and we know that your greater good is being accomplished. And so we give you permission to do that and we give you thanks today. All glory and praise will go to you when we see the fruit come through our situation. In Jesus' name, amen.